Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel everybody. I'm going to be showing you a whole new formation that I have not covered yet in all of Man 20 and it's a really really powerful formation. It's out of the Gun Bunch playbook that I'm running called West Coast. Gun Bunch is a very very powerful uh, offense but Strong Close is just as powerful. We're gonna start off by talking about personnel. I personally in my ultimate team have two route apprentice wide receivers, slot apprentice to be exact. Which means that they get those man beating and zone beating sort of corner routes, posts, and stuff of that nature. You need that. Both of those wide receivers are in these two spots right here and right here. Then what I would recommend you to do is I would invest in two running backs and put one of the running backs right there and one of the other one right there. Speed at tight end is also powerful if you can't afford uh, something like a, what's his name, Darren Waller with 96 speed. Invest in someone like a Ingram, he is 93 speed, that will work perfectly fine. He costs around 100k to get really, really powerful tight end. You need that. Now, that's enough for personnel. Let's talk about the audibles. Mesh, halfback dive, PAD, cross, and wide receiver. I'm going to show the place to you. I would put halfback out tackle, off tackle out, um, out there. Never mind that. That's a mesh, PAD, cross, and wide receiver. Wide receiver is the most powerful play of the formation. So we're going to start with that. Wide trail. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go over wide trail. Those people in all strong close, they know that this is. This used to be a good cover two beater. I just haven't found a way to work, for it to work, which might have mean, which might, which might mean that it got patched. And if it did get patched, then I'm not gonna show it to you guys. Why is he route? That's the play we're gonna come out in, and it wor this works against pretty much any coverage. I'm gonna start by cover three, and it's a very simple setup. There are a couple of ways to set set this up. Hit, uh, hit Sanu, block the halfback. I would personally wheel white, put Edelman on this uh, flat route, and I'm gonna run this against cover three with cloud flats, and then motion snap him to the outside just like that, and then you have two reads. You can either throw. Jesus Brady, come on, Brady sucks this year, even in Madden. It's crazy. Um, this is how the setup looks. You can either then throw the wheel route, which gets open against any coverage. And if the user covers it, then you can throw this post route, which also gets open against any coverage. What a powerful play. Basically, the only way that you can beat, that, they can, that you can be beat, is if your opponent sacks you because he sends a lot of pressure. Which then you have to make a quick read. Motion snap him. And I'm even going to show you that this, get, uh, this gets behind cover two cloud flats really easily really easily don't even have to think about it this gets open very very often basically has to be used and your opponent can only use it uh, one route and both of them get you uh, get open without your opponent using it. you get what I'm saying it's really really powerful let's talk about mesh because we need them we need a, um, a man coverage beater also gonna run this against a man blitz and this corner route is gonna get wide open it absolutely toasts man coverage. Now there are other ways of beating man coverage, such as, um, such as putting your wide receivers on, um, put corner outs on both of those two people, and then both of them are gonna toast man coverage just the same. So you see, it's really really easy to beat man coverage. You just have to be aware of how many people they're sending. Okay, now let's talk about. PA deep cross because this is a very powerful play. We're gonna start by showing you a cover three beater. I would always uh, put the tight end on a delay fade, put Sinu on a corner route, and motion him out. If we now do get the time, then this will be a wide open touchdown. Just like that. Edelman is not the fastest, so he might get caught. He doesn't even get caught. He doesn't even get caught. Okay. So, this is really, really good against people because cover 3 is one of the ways people try to defend that. Cover 4 is another way. Cover 4 is a bit tougher, but cover 3, you see how easy, how easily it can be beaten. Let's talk about the second setup. Um, I would block the halfback and then motion him out. Put him on his slant. And I would put the t uh, tight end on a delay fade. This gets open against any coverage. Just try to roll out and try to throw that right there. Now, Brady isn't the fastest. If you have a faster quarterback, it's easier to get out there and it's, it gets way more open. 
but he can make it work even with a slow, even with a slow dude like my man Tom Brady. Now, in case that the uh, crossing route gets usered and you miss the read, then you can send you out your tight end on that on his delay fade. But just by pressing X, he gets out on the route and he is open. He's open pretty much all the time because your user is preoccupied uh, reading, uh, covering the play. Now, let's look at how to read from cross to slant. Basically, you should go into the play expecting that you'll have to throw the slant. You have to read the user, basically. If, you, if the user uh, doesn't drift back far enough, I actually accidentally called the wrong play. Uh, if your opponent's user does not drift far uh, back enough, far enough back, that's how, that's how you say it. I can English very well. Um, if your opponent's user does not drift back to the uh, crossing route, Jesus Christ, uh, then you always hit the slam. Throw a low pass, just like that. I mean, what are we doing, guys? Just put two hands on the football and catch it, please. But yeah, if your opponent, oops, it works that way just fine too. You can also motion up the fullback if you want to. But yeah, you see how I just got time there? And I can throw that over his head really easily. Now, if I get out of the pocket there, the zones drift down towards the line of scrimmage and it gets way easier to do it. Now, that's all for PA deep cross pretty much. Just remember to put the tight end on the delay fade so that in case that everything gets covered, you can still throw the delay fade. Let's do that. Send him out on his route and catch it. 10 yards really, really easily. Okay, let's talk about the last play. Do I even have any, any more plays left to talk about? Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. Strong close. There we go. Um, I mean, I guess I could talk about wide trail and see if it works. This used to be able to beat cover two. Um, I don't know if it was short side or wide side. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, it's 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 bagged. Okay, don't don't do that. Um, let's revisit all of the things that we talked about. Basically, the main player that you want to run is wide receiver out. Like I said, we're gonna run against the cover four. Do that setup. Both of the routes get open, both the wheel and the post get open. You can pretty much pick whichever one you want to throw. Or whichever one the user does not cover, that's the one you throw, obviously. Obviously. User can only be in, in one place at once. And this is really a pain in the ass to defend. Mm, that's worth. Now, the second most powerful play is this PA deep cross. Oops. I just have the streak there instead of the post now because I accidentally just clicked. But yeah, read slant to uh, crossing route and boom. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. This route gets open against pretty much any coverage. Cover 2 doesn't cover it. Cover 3 does not cover it. Main coverage might cover it. But then again, you have the slant. And always remember to put, out, to put a tight end on the delay fade. And this is great against man coverage. If your opponent is throwing anything like a man blitz at you and you don't have route apprentices, which I remember, you, uh, which I would recommend you to get, this corner route beats it very, very easily. Now, I appreciate you very much for watching this video. This is not the most in-depth breakdown of this formation because it's not information I run heavily, but it's one that's very powerful. It just got more, uh, more mighty in the last play playbook update. Just got added some more plays to the West Coast playbook. Yeah. Really, really powerful. Go use it. I should use it a lot more. You can, of course, also run the ball. But it's not quite as powerful as Oakland. Because we don't have many. F we don't have iPhone close. Which we can audible to. Which has way better runs. But still, this formation, just by it, just standalone passing. Really, really powerful. Go use it. Um, I don't have a lot more to say. Other than pass the ball in Man 20. Don't be a pussy and don't just run stretch and dive. Please don't do that. If you're a subscriber of my channel... Don't do that. I put out enough videos on passing the ball. You should pass the ball. I appreciate you watching the video. I said that once before. But I say it again. I'm very thankful. We've been getting a lot of subscribers lately. And I'm really happy about that. I, ho I hope this video helped you. 
I hope that my videos in general will help you. See you in the next one. Peace out. Way too long outro. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs>